This video will explain the details of installing, operating, and maintaining your SICAN Statclave G4 Chamber Autoclave. It is important to consult your operator's manual that comes with your unit. To ensure years of safe, trouble-free service, please read these instructions before operating this unit and keep them for future reference. Thank you for adding the Statclave G4 Chamber Autoclave to your practice. The Statclave is SICAN's Chamber Autoclave designed with safety, performance, flexibility, and ease of use in mind. Statclave G4 incorporates both a vacuum at the start of the cycle to remove air and ensure perfect steam penetration, and a vacuum at the end of the cycle to remove moist air so that your instruments are dry the moment you open the door. Your Statclave comes with the following items chamber rack, stainless steel wire instrument trays, rack for pouched instruments, drying plates for cassettes, tray extractor with door unlocking pin, waste bottle, reservoir drain tube, two silicone exhaust tubes with elbow connectors, direct to drain kit, memory stick, power cord, operator's manual, The Statclave is designed to fit snugly into Steri centers where space can be limited. It only needs 2 inches of clearance on the right side to allow for effective ventilation. To have full access to the top reservoirs, you will need at least 7 inches of space above the unit. If there is less than 7 inches above the unit, use a screwdriver to remove the two screws on the front hinge of the clean water reservoir so that the lid can slide in and out of position from the front of the unit. The unit vents warm air from below the door, so the door vent should overhang the support surface. To improve drainage, ensure the unit is tilted toward the back. Use the leveling feet to raise the front of the unit one inch from the level surface, as described in the operator's manual. Once the sterilizer has been correctly installed, it is important to open the door before turning the unit on. With the door open, the sterilizer will automatically measure the atmospheric pressure of the installation location. Turn the Statclave on using the main switch located on the right side of the unit. Statclave's Wi-Fi enabled G4 technology can connect and send cycle data to your smart devices or computer, allowing staff to focus on the most important thing in a dental practice, the patients. Maintenance reminders, on-screen instructions and the option for automatic user interface software updates are all helpful tools to help keep your Statclave in good working order. Should your machine experience an error, G4 technology connects your unit to specialized technicians, which allows for remote support and minimizes unnecessary downtime. If your Statclave has not been connected to the G4 network, Consult your operator's manual to connect by using a wireless network or Ethernet connection in a few simple steps. Once you've completed the online registration, you will be able to view all of your Statclave's records through your browser or have Cycle Records directly emailed to an office email address. The Statclave has two accessible reservoirs on the top of the unit. The clean water reservoir is located on the top right of the unit and the Venturi reservoir on the top left. For the unit to operate, reservoirs must contain the minimum required water levels. The Statclave unit uses water from the Venturi reservoir to generate vacuum draws at the beginning and end of each cycle. To fill the Venturi reservoir, Open the lid, located on the top left of the unit, and fill with steam distilled water to the maximum fill line. The Venturi Reservoir is integrated with the condenser at the back of the unit. Together, these will take a combined 6 liters of distilled water. Fill the Venturi Reservoir to the maximum fill line and wait as the water flows from this reservoir to fill the condenser. Then top up the Venturi Reservoir to the maximum fill line again. The Statclave requires high-quality steam distilled water. The unit's water quality sensor is designed to protect the unit and will not allow it to function with water unless it has less than 6.4 parts per million total dissolved solids, or that has a conductivity of less than 10 microsiemens per centimeter. 
To fill your Statclave, you have four options. You can manually fill directly using the top reservoir. With the unit powered on, lift the clean water reservoir lid and fill with distilled water until you hear three beeps. You can manually fill using the quick connector at the port at the front of the unit. To use this method, you will need the optional manual fill container with quick connect tubing. First, fill the container. Then, connect the tubing to the front fill port. Hold or place the manual fill container at a level higher than the unit's fill port. Press any cycle icon to get the pre-cycle screen. From here, you will see the clean water check mark turn yellow when the minimum water level is reached and green when it reaches maximum. Statclave can be configured to automatically fill the clean water reservoir using a VistaPure specialized water filtration system with accumulation tank or by using an optional auxiliary water pump that is connected to an external tank. To connect a water filtration system, remove the plug from the automatic fill port at the back of the unit and connect the water filtration system's Teflon tube to the port. Ensure the tube runs freely from the back. It should not be sharply bent crushed or obstructed in any way. Open the valve on the water filtration system to fill the accumulation tank and the valve on the accumulation tank to allow water to flow to the statclave. Use the settings menu to set your unit's filling mode to automatic. As you exit the screen, it will save the selected filling mode and begin filling the empty clean water reservoir. You can also automatically fill the clean water reservoir using an external water tank and the optional auxiliary pump. Remove the plug from the automatic fill port at the back of the unit. Connect the fitting at the end of the pump's tubing to the port. Connect the automatic fill pump's power source to the power connection at the back of the unit. Fill the external tank with distilled water and place the submersible automatic fill pump in the external tank and set your unit's filling mode to automatic. When using an external water tank, be sure to monitor the tank's water level. The Statclave does not monitor the water level in the external tank and the auxiliary water pump should not run dry. When using either automatic filling option, it is recommended to use the direct to drain waste connection to avoid any overflow that can easily occur when using a waste bottle. The Statclave has two reservoirs, but the Venturi Reservoir is not for wastewater accumulation. Instead, the unit exhausts its waste to either a direct-to-drain system or a wastewater bottle. The recommended draining setup for the Statclave is to connect the exhaust hoses directly to a drain using the direct-to-drain kit supplied with your unit. This will prevent any accidental waste bottle overflows if the bottle isn't emptied regularly. This is also the best draining option to use when you are using an automatic filling system. Ensure the connection point is lower than the Statclave support surface, otherwise the reservoirs may not drain correctly. The second drain option is to use the waste bottle that comes with your Statclave. Remember to carefully monitor the waste bottle to avoid overflow. The best practice for using the waste bottle is to empty the bottle every time you refill the clean water reservoir. With the setup, it is important to make sure the exhaust tubes are not kinked, bent, or obstructed. The Statclave offers six validated cycles. Solid unwrapped, solid wrapped, hollow unwrapped, hollow wrapped, rubber and plastics unwrapped, a textile porous, and on some models, a custom cycle is available. If your unit is equipped with a custom cycle, consult your operator's manual to learn about the proper use of this cycle. The Statclave also offers two test programs to periodically check the unit's effectiveness. A vacuum test, which needs to be completed with a cold chamber. And a Bowie Dick test, which runs with only the chamber rack in place. It's done in a warm chamber with the test pack placed at the back center of the chamber. Please follow local guidelines for the required frequency for performing all sterilization monitoring tests. Along the right side of the touchscreen are some additional system icons. The globe icon shows the status of the network connectivity. It is used when connecting to the internet. 
A red X indicates there is no internet connection. A yellow check mark indicates the unit is connected to the office server but not to the internet. A green check mark indicates the unit is connected to the internet. If the unit was not connected to the internet during setup, press this icon to connect your unit via an ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Below that is the USB status icon. A green check mark indicates the USB key is connected and a red X indicates there is no USB. The icon will turn yellow. The USB is recording cycle information. When the USB icon is pressed, the display will show the last five completed cycles along with the last five incomplete cycles. When your unit is connected to the G4 network, all cycle data will be stored to the cloud. However, it is recommended to keep a USB key installed as a backup. The lock icon will indicate if your door is locked or unlocked. The statclave will lock the chamber door when you select a cycle. If you need to unlock the door before starting the cycle, press the back arrow to return to the main menu. Press the lock icon and press the yellow unlock button. You will hear the door lock release and you can then hit the back arrow and open the door. The final icon is the settings icon, which allows you to adjust the user settings menu. Features such as setting up load traceability, user IDs and pins, setting drying times and standby mode are helpful features explained in detail in your operator's manual. Instruments must be cleaned, rinsed, dried and wrapped before being placed in the statclave. Wrapped cassettes should be placed in the unit vertically, ensuring the drying plates have been inserted. When using pouches, pouches should be placed paper side down on the pouch racks provided with the unit. Place the cassettes or pouches in the chamber and close the door. Select the cycle appropriate for the load and then the start button to begin the cycle. The statclave has a unique feature that allows it to monitor four conditions prior to the cycle starting. If there is an issue with any of these four conditions, the cycle will not start. Instead, a pre-cycle screen will appear to show you what condition needs to be addressed. The four conditions it monitors are clean water level. A red X will indicate that the clean water level is too low to run a cycle. The clean water check will turn yellow when the minimum water level is reached and green when it is at the maximum. Add steam distilled water to the clean water reservoir to correct this condition. Water quality. A red X will indicate that there is a water quality problem in the clean water reservoir. Press the icon to view details. Venturi Reservoir. A red X will indicate that the Venturi water level is too low to run a cycle. Add steam distilled water to the Venturi water reservoir to correct this condition. Door status. A red X will indicate the door is not correctly closed or locked. Check for instruments jamming the door. Once you have corrected the issue, Press the forward arrow to continue to the start screen. If all the conditions of the pre-cycle screen are met, you will not see the pre-cycle screen. Instead, the unit will go directly to the start screen. From the start screen, you have two options. You can start the cycle immediately or select a delayed start, which allows you to set the cycle to start at a later time. The delayed start feature is ideal for offices that need to schedule a Bowie DIC test to run before the start of the day. Using this feature, you can load your Bowie DIC test and set the delayed start to begin prior to your office opening. This ensures your test cycle is complete and you can start running sterilization loads immediately. When the sterilization and drying cycles are complete and the chamber pressure returns to preset safety limits, the screen will give the message, cycle complete. Press the stop button and open the door. Carefully retrieve the sterilized material. Caution, contents may still be hot. Regular maintenance will help to ensure safe and efficient operation of the statclave over the device's life. The statclave's on-screen help instructions can be found in the settings menu. From the home screen, select settings and then press the book icon that appears on the left. When performing any maintenance on the unit, remember that the unit's default standby mode is to maintain a hot chamber. Before cleaning the door and chamber, turn the unit off and allow adequate time to cool before performing maintenance. The door plate, 
Door seal and external surfaces should be cleaned daily with a damp, lint-free cloth. Clean all the Statclave's external parts using Optim wipes or a clean, lint-free cloth dampened with water and, if needed, a mild detergent. Dry the surfaces and remove any residue before powering on the unit. Every week, clean the sterilization chamber and, if applicable, the waste bottle. Some cleaners may be too harsh on the internal copper and brass components of the units. Rinse thoroughly with a cloth and water. Avoid pushing any soap inside the holes in the chamber. Run one empty cycle after using any cleaner or soap. Every month, inspect and clean the three chamber filters. To do this, remove the chamber filter and clean it under running water. Clear the mesh of debris. If the debris cannot be removed, replace the filter. Clean the chamber racks and trays every month with a lint-free, water-dampened cloth. Every month, you should also drain and clean both water reservoirs and water reservoir filters. To avoid accidental cross-contamination, always start with the clean water reservoir and then move to the Venturi reservoir. To drain the water reservoirs, open the unit door and connect the reservoir drain tube to the clean water's drain port. Repeat the procedure with the Venturi Reservoir's drain port. Use a soft bristle brush to scrub any deposits. Then wipe the surface using Optum wipes or a clean, lint-free cloth dampened with water. Rinse the reservoir with distilled water and drain the residual water using the front drain connection again. Remove the reservoir filter by pulling up on the filter's tab. Rinse the filter under running water and dry it before reinstalling it. Perform the same cleaning procedure on the Venturi Reservoir. When you have cleaned both reservoirs, fill them with distilled water and run one empty cycle. Every six months, or after 500 cycles, you should perform all the cleaning tasks listed in the monthly schedule. Also, replace the bacteriological air filter. And replace the door seal. Additional details of installing, operating, and maintaining your SciCan Statclave are all contained within the Operator's Manual. Please read these instructions before operating this unit and keep them for future reference. Thank you for upgrading your practice with our SciCan Statclave G4.